okay now that we have our api running live in the DigitalOcean server you can give it a try now as well okay so you can just copy this url and even though your front end is running in the local host that's perfectly fine so if you go to your project for example let's go to the front end here let's go to env okay so that's our front end here let's go to env and let's update this okay so url it's not no longer localhost ada this is this okay so this is http colon this is the ip address okay so save here okay save and go to your terminal and run this okay and this is our application we can obviously log in but if you go to the home page we will see only loading because we don't have any posts right we don't have any users we don't have anything so let's uh, let's sign up or you can even use login with google doesn't matter nice and easy okay okay so user is here he can create post do all that stuff let's create a post by him okay so let me use a small file because i think we have the upload limit set to less than 100 kb open let's give it a title go okay, create post okay beautiful it's all happening and the data is coming and saving in the remote api okay beautiful absolutely beautiful perfect okay working absolutely fine previously i told you that i'll deploy a react app to firebase but why not use digital ocean itself we can use same droplet to run both backend and frontend let's do this in our server we will run api in forward slash api on port 8080 then our react app will run in forward slash on port 3000 so let's begin by adding forward slash api to our routes navigate to your node api app.js and prefix all the routes with slash api then make a git commit and push to github now log into server get inside project and pull the changes using git pull then to apply the changes restart the server now go to the browser and refresh the page you get error but if you go to slash api it works let's run our api in the domain slash api cd into etc slash nginx sites available sudo vim default press i to edit this file add slash api press escape then colon wq to save this file and exit to make sure no errors run sudo nginx dash t okay we are nearly there let's run sudo system cdl 
restart nginx pm2 restart app.js now update api url in react app add slash api then restart the server it works you can also see it in the network tab our react app is making api request to api slash post now it's time to push our react project to digital ocean server first make a git commit then check out the project in github click clone and copy the url now go to server and inside project folder clone this repository get inside react front npm install create dot env file and copy paste dot env credentials let's go to sites available list out all the files sudo vim default press i to edit this file copy paste location object remove slash api use localhost 3000 now both projects are running api is running in slash api and react app is running in forward slash Let's make sure we have no errors. Sudo nginx t. Sudo system serial restart nginx. Now get inside React front. And use PM2 to continuously run React app. PM2 startup system D. So this is what you get. Copy paste and hit enter. Now your API is live all the time in slash API. React app is live at forward slash. Let's run this to keep the server running pm2 start npm dash dash start now everything works
For Google login to work, you need to use custom domain with IP address Google does not allow access. So go ahead, buy a domain and add it via DigitalOcean dashboard and have a great time. All the best.